Alright guys, so in the comments of my Josh Taylor vs Costa Zoo fantasy fight, I had a comment from a guy who said, um, can I do Sven Okke vs Carl Froch next? So I'm going to be doing that today. So in my opinion, Sven Okke is a much, was a much better fighter than Carl Froch. He had much better defence. Froch had very poor defence, got hit a lot in fights. Um, durability is about even. I think... Froch got dropped twice because his defense was that poor that he just blocked punches with his face most of the time. Um, obviously, Sven Oke was never down, and that's a testament to his great chin and his great defense. Um, stamina, Froch definitely has an advantage in, I think. Um, uh, Sven Oke never had bad stamina himself, but Froch, obviously, he, he could throw punches all 12 rounds. He never really got tired in a fight. Um, apart from the first Kessler fight where Kessler broke him down to the body but uh, yeah apart from that Froch was never tired in a fight and he was always he could always go 12 rounds at a good pace and um, power powers somewhat even actually um, Sven Oke didn't have many stoppages because he had that amateur point scoring style so he just wanted to go to points you know with his amateur style just out outworking the opponent and that's why he had so many few, so few stoppages on his resume. Um, obviously, Froch, he he obviously threw more power punches than Sven Oke, but Froch was never a big puncher at world level. He wasn't even a big puncher at domestic level, really. Um, I mean, in the Super Six, he got one stoppage the whole tournament against Jermaine Taylor, and that was in the twelfth round after being outboxed for pretty much all of the fight, and. Um, yeah, that was with about 30 seconds to go, something like that. I mean, he never even came close to hurting most of those guys. Like, he never hurt Andre Ward. He never hurt Kessler. So, yeah, he, he was never a big puncher. I mean, Sven Oke wasn't really a big puncher either. When, when he threw power punches, I mean, he, he could punch. You know, with Sears knockouts, for example. But he didn't really throw power punches all that often. Um, so obviously these guys fought, they didn't fight very um, wide apart, I mean, give or take a few years. Say if uh, Ok came, came along about, you know, seven years later, something like that, this is a fight that definitely could have happened. So they have got a few um, opponents that they both fought. So obviously uh, Sven Ok fought a prime Glenn Johnson and he won a unanimous decision. The fight was competitive, but uh, Sven Oke clearly won it for me. And it was a good performance against Johnson, who... I think Johnson only had a one or two losses going into that fight, and he was in his prime. Um, obviously, he would go on to defeat guys like Roy Jones and guys like that. Um, and Carl Froch fought Glenn Johnson in the Super 6, when Johnson was considerably past his prime. And Glenn Johnson gave Carl Froch all sorts of problems in that fight. Um, that was a very close fight. It was a majority decision for Froch, which is pretty embarrassing for him, considering that's a that was an old version of Glenn Johnson. Um, he arguably lost as well. So, yeah, I mean that was Fro Froch always struggled on world level. Every one of his fights where he won, it was always close. Like the Pascal fight, for example, um, and other fight like the Jermaine Taylor fight he, he always struggled on world level to get victories and obviously the other fighter they fought is Robin Reed now obviously Sven Oke's fight with Robin Reed has a lot of controversy around it um, it was one of those false robbery narratives created by Sky Sports and um, basically Robin Reed in that fight was fouling um, he was engaging in a lot of foul tactics and the referee was rightly warning him and taking points off um, people look at Sven Oke's performance like oh he threw one he, he I think he headbutted Robin Reed like once and people say oh he was the one fouling I don't even know how that makes sense Robin Reed was fouling all night pretty much so it, it, it was Sven Oke clearly won that fight against a dirty fighter like Robin Reed he clearly won that fight, and yeah, it's just another one of those false robbery narratives created by Sky Sports. Now, obviously, uh, 
Carl Froch for Robin Reed, but that was a past prime version of Robin Reed, and also that there was rumours of that fight was a uh, predetermined stoppage in round five. Um, I haven't really looked into that, but uh, it could definitely be the case, you know. So how do I think this fight would have gone? Um, I think Sven Otke would have outboxed Carl Froch fairly easily. You look at Carl Froch's fight against uh, Andre Ward, and he was being out-jabbed in that fight. He was being outboxed fairly comfortably. And that was always the style of Froch. He, he got outboxed by multiple opponents, and I don't think Sven Otke would have any problems. Um, I don't think Sven Otke would have any problems landing on Froch, but I do think Froch would have problems landing on Otke. And I think it would be a fight where Sven Otke would win, you know, like... 10 or 11 rounds and he would cruise to an easy unanimous decision so yeah thanks for watching guys leave your comments below and god bless